This is Kika, a robot that promises to redefine the home entertainment market. It's the brainchild of Pierre Lebeau, a former Google product manager who was tired of being limited to a fixed screen and sound system when watching a movie or surfing the web. So he designed Kika to follow him around. So I came with the idea of a computer with a projector inside and a great sound system and a camera, something that can move and go to any room to give me a kind of TV-like experience, but anywhere I want without the cables and the complexity. The Minibot has a high-resolution projector and several speakers that project 360 degrees surround sound. It also has a panoramic fisheye camera, allowing owners to check on their apartments while they're away. The finished product will be able to navigate rooms without bumping into furniture, using a combination of sensor data and camera feeds. But for now, Kika will need some help to climb stairs. We, we like to call it now a, a home pod, which is like an iPod, but instead of the i version, it's the home version, so the, the home pod. It's like the first computer that was designed for the house in mind for a collective use, as opposed to a personal computer. This is a kind of a collective computer. Lebeau says the system will only operate wirelessly, controlled via Android or iOS apps. Kika will cost around $5,000 when it comes to market next year. A small price, Lebeau says, for a new robotic family member.